holder of flesh. Only in the depths of night can this be accomplished. You must be alone and familiar with the terrain. Once alone and at night, take your shirt off. You must then scratch a deep enough scratch to bleed a decent amount. Once bleeding, cover your hands with blood, then firmly press your hands onto your face. Suddenly, pain will envelop you, and it will feel like someone is pushing on the insides of your face. You must fight through it, and start to yell. Tell me the difference between flesh and stone. The pain will immediately subside, and you quickly need to put your shirt back on. The holder of flesh stands before you. Stand still. He is evaluating you. This is the risky part of your journey, as there is no way to know if you will pass or fail. If you fail, you will be smashed with the giant bone of the dead god of life. Its life powers will heal you after it smashes you, and it will last forever. If you pass, he will instantaneously run you through with a giant talon, but only halfway. At this moment, you have to continue on and impale yourself the rest of the way. If you don't have the will, or you're just not quick enough, he will slice up and split you in two, ending your journey. Once you make it to the end, you will be staring face to face with him. He will mock you with a quirky smile, and you will become furious at this. He has no skin. Your outrage forces you to punch him. Why is he doing this to you? When you punch, you miss. He is not there. A pit of obsidian glass is before you. You realize you are no longer where you started. The holder gives you time to think. Look around and realize that you are in a child's room. The walls are covered with blood, and corpses litter the floor and hang from the ceiling, mangled beyond all belief. A dead child, about three years old, with no eyes, grabs its jaw and rips it off. Then it screams louder than you can bear. At this moment, it is telling you to force your way through the obsidian pit, or bleed out your ears in the horrifying bedroom scene. If you jump and somehow make it through, the holder will be standing there. In a grassy plateau, he bows his head. He whispers, Not many can know. Then proceeds to hurl a glowing white stone at you. Catch it, or your flesh will rip off as it goes by you. Once caught, he will run. Follow him as he jumps off the cliffside into the water. The water will slowly turn red like blood as you jump, and you must have aimed yourself exactly where he did, on the giant rock spike. When you reach the bottom of the impalement, and your body explodes from it being too wide and you going too fast, you will wake up, naked, shivering on the ground where you first started, with a solid red bone the size of your finger in your hands.